So online shopping, where I hear the most common objection from women is that I like to try my clothes on. Well, you can try the clothes on with online shopping. You just have to wait for it to get your home. And then you try it in the privacy of your own home. And there's no time pressure. There's no deadlines. There's no queues. It actually is really convenient. It's not better than in-store shopping. It's not worse. It's just different. And everyone has different preferences. But if you haven't yet explored online shopping, you really want to give it a go. It is a, a way of acquiring and purchasing the items that you're looking for, whether it's a watch or clothing or a, or a winter coat or whatever it is, um, digital appliances. Um, you will save time by not getting in your car, driving, parking, queuing, uh, walking through crowds. You obviously um, get to try things on in the privacy of your own home. There's no opening time, closing time. It's, it's your time. And so you manage all of that. And you also might save a lot of time in terms of finding the thing you're looking for quite quickly and, and going to check out and moving on rather than hanging around and going to the coffee shop and then going for lunch. And that's where all the extra money gets spent when we go out shopping sometimes. But here's the thing with online shopping. What I tell my clients is, you know, you want to cast your net a little bit wider. So when you go into a store, think about it. You know, if you go, let's say you're going into Nordstrom Rack or into Zara, okay? You're going to Zara and you know what you're looking for. You're looking for a blazer and there's going to be a rack over there. And when you, when you go online shopping, you don't know where the rack is. You don't know which store is best. You, don't, you know, there's a wide range of options in front of you. So what you want to do, obviously, and we share in our coaching program a list of resources of where to go, but some um, I'll, I'll share with you here, and some of them are really easy to access. Um, but what you want to do is cast your net wider. So let's say you're looking for a trench coat, okay? So you're looking for a trench coat, um, and it's got to be three-quarter length and obviously good quality because quality over quantity, that is staple rule number one when it comes to your wardrobe. And you you're not going to be able to feel it or to see how it fits, you know, until you actually try it on. So number one, you want to order it in two different sizes, get your regular size, and then have a look at the reviews. The reviews can be very, very helpful when you do online shopping. Have a look at the reviews. And a lot of times it might say uh, the size runs small. So if you are usually a six, maybe you want to get an eight, you know, whatever that is. Um, and then definitely one of the two will fit. You also want to try at least three different styles. So maybe this one arrives and it's the right fit, but you don't like how the collar sits or you're just not, you're not happy with the whole overall fit. So you want to get at least two or three other options because your time has gone into going online, getting your credit card out, going to check out and paying and moving on. Then it gets delivered, then you try it on. And so you want to make sure you don't waste any of that time. So I sometimes will order three of the same thing in two different sizes. And that really uh, increases my chances of, of having a, a hitch instead of a miss because then I try it on, okay, it's not the right size, the next size is right, and in that style. Then the others go back and this is the one that I keep. So online shopping, there's like huge options out there. ASOS.com, A-S-O-S, has been around forever. Uh, a lot of um, organizations and uh, um, online sites like ASOS and Shine, S-H-E-I-E -E and Superbalist, these are online retail um, sites that actually procure uh, lines from different brands all over the place. And so, and then you have this massive collection of low, middle and high quality and a huge wide range of diversity, which is very clever. And typically they, um, they, the shipping and the returns, the, the returns policy is really very good. We have Amazon to thank for that because it has forced other retailers to have really good online return policies, which is fantastic. So you want to make sure that you try ASOS and Shine and Superbulous and remember quality over quantity. If you're getting something that is $17 for a beautiful dress and it looks gorgeous and it's going to come from China and it's not going to look like it does on the website. Okay, so be smart. Decide what it is you want. So you want to have a plan in hand. You absolutely must have a plan in hand. Um, maybe you've been shopping in Bloomingdale's before and you know what you what you get there. And so that's where you go. Maybe Macy's is your thing. Maybe, you know, H&M, maybe your Marks and Spencer, whatever it is. So you want to go online and get a, invest the time. Once again, time is the thing that women are often not prepared to invest. And you do have the time. Here's the good news about time. It's not running away from you. You own it. You get 24 hours every day and you get to decide what you do with those 24 hours. You can run around with a to-do list that never gets in to the end and you're on the back foot and oh my gosh, dinner. And, or you can get organized and learn time management skills like I had to, I had to work really hard on that. And I'm ruthless with my time. I work Monday to Thursday. People think I'm very busy because I do a lot. I'm not. 
I'm not busy. I'm super focused and I'm ruthless with my time schedule. And I work four days a week. I have Fridays off and I have weekends off. So I have a lot of time. And I, when I want to, I can pop out. And if my little girl is around and I can see her and I, I, I value my time. And so therefore I manage my time. So you have time. Time is on your side. The clock is not ticking. You have it and you get a new set of time every morning you wake up. So time is on your side. So, so check it out. Don't be afraid of online shopping. Online shopping will open up a world of options for you. And you might discover something that, you, that, you, that just makes you excited. You go, oh my gosh, there's the perfect trench coat, which I've been looking for for about three years and haven't found it yet. And then you get it and you love it and it lasts you years and years and years. I mean, my clothes last me years because I, one, I buy quality over quantity. So I will not buy three items at $20. I will rather buy one at 60 or 70. I hand wash a lot of stuff um, that obviously it says, you know, you can put it in a bag and put it in a washing machine. I'm not going to do that. These are pearls and it says love. So my love pearls here, I'm not going to just chuck in the washing machine. I don't care what the label says. I will wash it by hand. And then I've had many questions around, well, I'm traveling and what do I do when I'm in a hotel? Wash it by hand, run some water in the bath or wash it under the shower or in the sink. I've been doing that for years. I will not send some of my stuff to the dry cleaning because I just don't trust the process. My very precious, beloved, favorite items, they stay with me. I don't let them go far out of my sight and that's how they last 10, 12, 15 years. So online shopping, you wanna give it a go. Uh, don't be afraid of it. And, and remember the money that you put in, if you're not happy with it, you get the money back. Just be aware of international shipping um, regulations. So of course, if you are ordering internationally, there's almost always, not always, but almost always some import duty you're gonna pay. So if I um, order something, I don't do much online shopping now because I'm in South Africa currently and the import duty here is ridiculous. They obviously you know, want to uh, dissuade you from ordering internationally. They want you to go local. Now I do a lot of local shopping. I am very for finding and supporting local boutiques. But every now and again, I want to order something from my favorite, uh, you know, retailer or something, you know, like Free People or Spanx. And it's just ridiculously expensive to get it in here. So I rather wait uh, until a friend comes to visit from in London or from the USA, and then I'll wait for it. I'm not going to pay, you know, 30, 40% of the value of the item. Anyway, so all that being said, online shopping really is a wonderful world of options. And uh, it can be hit and miss, but the more you practice, you, uh, you get more confident doing this like anything. The more you ride the bike, the more confident you are riding the bike, but don't avoid it. You can try it on at home. And if you don't like it, it goes straight back. But in your first effort, just cast your net a little bit wider, go online and check out different stores and you'll probably find two or three that you really, really love. And those will become your regular go-to stores for online shopping, but give it a go. Don't dress down and don't use the excuse that you can't try things on and you can't go in store or you live in a teeny tiny, uh, town of 900 people and there's no shopping around. No, no, no. You can live in Timbuktu, man, in the middle of freaking nowhere. And you can order something online and a guy will come from far and wide and he'll deliver to you the very thing that you're looking for. So online shopping, give it a go.